nearly terrified. Looks like I've got a bit of a flat tire. And I found half a dead sheep next to one of these. I do a regular podcast with Johnny Awesome and the last time we did it my Wi-Fi wasn't really working properly so he set me a task to find some good strong Wi-Fi and some interesting people and I've racked my brains to think about where I can go and I've come up with Tesco's so I'm off to Tesco's to do a podcast. Five. Five, brilliant, thank you. So that was funny. I did the podcast in Tesco's and they asked me to get one of these store assistants to talk on the podcast and the first person I asked was clearly terrified and ran away and I saw her a little bit later on in the store talking to someone else looking very upset. So I really hope I didn't upset you. I'm sorry but uh, then we did find someone called Jay who was very nice and uh, he happily obliged to be on the podcast but that is not something I enjoy doing. I guess it makes good content and it keeps Johnny amused. Tomorrow I'm playing at a holiday park in Watchit which is near Minehead and I've decided since the weather's okay I'm going to go down there a day early and have a bit of a look round. like I've got a bit of a flat tire but fortunately I've got a gadget for that well I did have a gadget for that but it's not long enough to reach the tires Tonight. Have you been here before? Sir? I haven't, it's the first time. Brilliant, thank you. At the 
moment you are here, okay, and you need to be there where the steps and the ramps up into the back of the uh, complex and the staging is sort of inside about there. Okay, great. So you turn right past that Volkswagen, yep. go straight up the hill, do a left and a left. When you get to here, that road doesn't actually exist. It's a show home. When you got, you've got no choice. You turn right, get to the football ground, go down there pull up by there there's a great big area you can pull up on there oh, and then go in and I don't know if any of the fun stars are in there or anybody. I'm really early so I can I'm just have a wander on the beach well yeah. there you go you've got, got the shot off so it's my day that's not no it's not my day off I'm working oh, I was going to say it's my working day though oh is it happy birthday 168 oh, well. this is my last shift because I just retire at the end of the cut you're looking good on it tomorrow I get to my motor point <laughs> brilliant Thank you very much. I hope you get to keep the hat. Well, it is my hat. Oh, well, great. It's registered. It's trademarked. <laughs> Fantastic. <Yeah. laughs> Doniford Bay Holiday Park where I'm playing tonight. It's very nice, the weather's actually behaving itself although there's a lot of grey clouds in the sky. For now it's really nice. This behind me here is the traditional system of delivering shit into our sea what happens is uh, from the holiday park up there everyone has a toilet and every now and again they need to use it and it goes from the toilets up there into a delightful system of pipes that leak and then eventually comes to this long majestic metal pipe on the beach and just uh, where that boat is out there is the ship delivery area and children and adults swim in it and from there they ingest it and then they go back to their holiday parks and they use their toilets and the majestic circle begins again. It's a beautiful wonderful system and actually once I was on the beach not this beach but a different beach in Somerset and I found half a dead sheep next to one of these It's a little known fact that this is actually where the sea starts. So all of the sea everywhere starts here and it just flows out into the bay and goes between England and Wales and then out into the wide world. And that's the sea that we know and love. And these rocks have been here that long that one of them has actually turned into a tyre.
So thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel and keep these videos going. Give us a like, drop a comment below if you've got any questions. Hard sell over. See you next time. That's how the blue coat diaries started.